Wise is, is, is a good thing. It's an improvement to what there was before. Well, it's but, better but, than nothing. Yeah. Better than nothing, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but I agree with you because I think, you know, one, one, one people don't really know about it that very much. Two, um, as you say, it's just focused on DC. And, mm. but, but, you know, going forward, I think that's where people really need the advice. Mm. So, so, so DC. Um, and then the other thing about pension wise is it only gives you advice on retirement options. So it's only in that sort of last five years or whenever people are sort of coming up to retirement when they think, oh, I need advice on my pension. And, and as people have been saying, which I completely agree with, I think you know, the, the message needs to be, um, the conversation needs to start a lot earlier in the process um, when people are sort of making decisions earlier in their lifetime, not necessarily in relation to just pensions, but in relation to all sort of um, the whole picture, financial picture and what, what, where they want to save and what their priorities are. Um, because you know, it's it's if you do want a, a significant pension, it's in the earlier years that you need to really contribute for that money to grow. And um, you know, by the time people turn their minds to it um, in their sort of fifties or, um, or or forties or, or whenever it is, then it you know that there's limited time to do something about it. Financial awareness is the key to actually a first step towards contributing. Today the question here is we are not at a stage, at least I'm talking from my industry perspective, we are not at a stage where salary sacrifice is mandated, but very soon, two, three down, years down the line, we'll have to get into that phase. And that's when the real challenge of this financial awareness will come into picture because today people think that employer is contributing, so it's not a big of a, you know, uh, hit on my cash take home. but. 2-3% or whatever would be the contribution down the line, that is when they will start actually feeling the pinch. And setting that awareness today would really help us to you know, put the mindset, probably as an employer, in case if we do not want to put in the entire salary review into the cash component, we should look at diversifying in such a way that the cash is also written at the same time the salary sacrifice aspect is also maintained. Plus, having an internal subject matter expert also helps in bringing that trust level. Somebody said that uh, uh, I may not be comfortable talking about my financials with anyone, but if I know that there's an expert sitting in front of me, I don't mind talking about it. So. Any time if today I'm facing like a debt management issue or anything, I can actually go walk up to him and say that, okay, this is the kind of savings today I have. What is it as an employer you have to offer? So that kind of engagement, constant engagement, whenever they need, they have that ad, uh, expert in front of him would really help to you know bring in that kind of trust. From, from the legal perspective, it's obviously it's all very well to have you know what you consider to be your moral responsibility as an employer. Do you think that employers have a danger of shying away from involving themselves with that in case of overstepping into the sort of advice yeah. side of things. Yeah. Well, I think generally I, I, I have a sense of a sort of, there's quite a broad, I would say, misconception that employers can um, incur some kind of liability if they give assistance to their staff in, in making decisions. And actually, when you kind of look at the, the legal reality, it's very difficult for an employer to stray into that area. Um, you know, an employer doesn't need authorization from the FCA unless they're in the business of giving sort of advice on investments um, and unless they get some kind of commercial benefit. So I think, um, you know, the risk to the employer of straying into that sort of area of, you know, a, 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 a financial advisor is actually quite limited. And there is a lot that employers can do, I think, to, um, to help employees um, make, um, make good financial decisions. And you know the workplace is a great opportunity for, for for that for that forum to take place. I mean, it's an interesting point you, you raise about employers' responsibility. I think um, you know there's a question there about how much is it the employer in, in, in sort of making that and in, in put, putting together that portfolio of products and sort of discharging that responsibility. How much should the employer sort of take the lead in in deciding what it thinks is best for its workforce, and how much should it understand its workforce to sort of see where the demand is in putting together that portfolio and if um and if an if employer does try and sort of speak to its workforce to understand demand do you think it would get much back at the moment given the low levels of um sort of financial awareness um you know that's a i don't know how many employers actually engage in that debate before making those decisions